Howdy y'all. This is the Faraday cage. It is a metal cage with an open top right here that actually distributes electric charge. See, metals often are missing electrons and so they really like to assume electrons and so when we have an electric field present, often these electric charges actually distribute on the cage themselves. Now, this also can stop incoming uh, wavelengths as, again, the uh, electrons are actually attracted to the outside of the cage. And so a radio transmission from an electric field can't actually make its way out. So to convince you of that, I'm going to have to turn on the radio and turn up the volume. It's clear and 67. So we have audio. I add it inside the Faraday cage. Immediately, we're quiet. If we add even more foil to the top of our Faraday cage, most of the transmission is actually truncated or cut off. The transmission electric field is going into the metal cage itself. This is the concept that Faraday came up with. Now we can also show that the charge is distributed along the outside of the cage. Here I'm going to charge up my PVC with some rabbit fur, kind of like when you rub the balloon on your head. Okay, so electrostatic charges is what I'm adding here. And we can watch these small pips become attracted, so we are indeed inducing a sort of electric field around here. But what happens when we touch the PVC to the inside of the cage, that we lose the charge, and you can see that the pits are no longer attracted. They, there's, no, there's no way for them to feel uh, uh, any sort of electrons flying off anymore to convince you there they go towards it as I had moved the charge now to the outside of the cage. Now it's more interesting for them to stick to that. But again, on the inside, the electric field is mostly blocked. <laughs> Sometimes it's strong enough can make its way out. But now the charge is completely on the outside of our cage. This is like when you are um, uh, inside of a car for lightning striking, the lightning actually distributes around the whole metal body of your car, not the rubber.